Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video, we have seen what is calculus of variation, its importance and also we have taken a simple example on it. Now in today's class, we are going to take some more problems on the same topic. So let us see what this problem says. This problem says show that the straight line is the shortest distance between two points. So we are given a statement that uh, and that statement we have to prove that the straight line is the shortest distance between two points. So what exactly we are going to do here? We are just going to take uh, two points and as it is a straight line so obviously we will be taking the xy plane. So now I have taken xy plane and now what we have to do is just take two points. So let me take this to be uh, point A x1 y1 and let me take this point to be B x2 y2 okay now I have taken two points in a plane okay now this is the curve joining these two points so we have to show that this distance between these two points is a curve so what we exactly we are going to do here is that we are going to take a small part of it say this is x1 and say this point to be x2 okay so ex uh, actually we have to find out the length of this curve and uh, to find out the length of this curve what we are going to do is we are going to just take a small part of it so suppose I am taking a small part of it suppose the length of this uh, uh, curve is s okay so if I am taking a small uh, small part of this so say this is to be ds okay now to and just draw like this so it is so if this is a small part in ds then this is the small part in the x direction so this is dx and this is the small part in the y direction so this is dy so i will just uh, let you know the magnified form of this so it is like this okay so this is the case uh, this is my ds yeah this is my dx and this is my dy okay so now we have a right angle triangle as you can see okay this is the magnified of this uh, small part okay so if this is a right angle triangle as you can see so you can apply the what Pythagoras theorem so it will give you hypotenuse square is equal to dx square plus dy square okay so we'll come back to this first let us start with the solution of this so as I have taken in, the, in this diagram so I am going to start with the two points let let a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 be any two points b any two points be any two points where any two points in the xy plane in the xy plane and s be the length of this or you can write and s be the distance s be the distance between them s be the distance distance between them okay So, from figure, we have taken a small part of this uh, distance, okay, and then I have already explained that this is the magnified form of this and applying the Pythagoras theorem, we will get 
from feeder we get we get what ds square is equal to dx square plus dy square okay now we are interested in getting the length ds length s okay so what we are going to do is we are going to divide this by on dividing by dx square on both sides on both sides we get what we get ds square by dx square ds square by dx square is equal to dx square plus dx square is 1 plus this is dy square upon dx square. So you can write this one as that is ds by dx is equal to under root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square. Okay. Okay. So, we got ds by dx. Now, you can write this one as ds is equal to under root of 1 plus dy by dx is nothing but y dash square dx. Okay. Now, this is ds. What I, have, I, am, in, uh, what I am interested in? D, not ds, ds. That is the distance between point A to B. So, if I got a small portion of this, okay, what I can do is I can integrate this small portion from the end point that is the limits x1 to x2, I will get the length, okay, that is what integration is all about. If you know the small part of something, okay, then you can get the length or the distance between the two points by integrating it from the limits, okay. So, ds is this. So, I can get the length s. Therefore, s is equal to integration. If there is a point, so I can write integration from point A to B, ds. Now, we have ds in terms of integration in terms of x. So, I will be taking limits x1 to x2. So, this is integration x1 to x2 under root of 1 plus y dash square dx. Simple. Now, once you get this, this is just like a functional. Okay. So, this is the integral we are given. This is the functional. So, what you are going to do? Just take this. Find out its derivative. Make use of Euler's equation. Substitute the values in Euler equation and get the result. That is the lengthy process. Let me tell you the uh, simple process. The simple process says what is f here? What is f here? f is equal to under root of 1 plus y dash square. So if you apply the Euler's equation to this, uh, the problem will get... Uh, a lengthy one and the complications may occur in the problem. So, what exactly we are going to do is, we have the cases and these cases are not for the showpiece. Okay. So, we are going to make use of the cases. Now, as you can see, this f is independent of x and y because we have only y dash in the term. So, you can just make one sentence over here as f is f is independent of independent of x and y independent of x and y so so extremals are given by extremals are given by this falls under the four case that we have learned y double dash is equal to zero okay that we have already seen now, we are not, we don't want y double dash, we want y. So, what you can do is, you can just integrate on integrating 
V gate. So this is y double dash means d two y by d x square. So integrate one time will remove one derivative. So we remain with y dash is equal to integration of zero is zero plus some constant of integration a. Integrated again. Why I am integrating again? Because I want y. On integrating again. We get what we get when we integrate it. We'll be getting. Or where should I write now? I will be getting y is equal to a x plus b. And what is this? Y is equal to a x plus b. This y is equal to a x plus b is nothing but a straight line, right? So what we have proved? This is nothing but the straight line. What we have proved? We have taken two points in the x y plane, and we have shown that the distance between these two points is a straight line, and the shortest distance to be precise, right? So this is all about the problem. I hope uh, this is clear to you. Now, if this is clear to you, let me give you one problem for solve. At last, you can write y is equal to a x plus b, which is a straight line. Hence. Hence, final answer is hence the shortest hence the straight line is the shortest distance between two points. Okay, now let me give you one problem to solve. find extremals find extremals for for v of y x is equal to v of y x is equal to integral a to b 1 plus y dash square upon y dash square dx. So what you have to do is uh, you are given this problem and you have to find out the extremals for this problem. So very easy problem I have gave you uh, for this because uh, and I am not going to say a word for this problem because uh, if you have followed the previous problem this is a very very simple problem for you to get the solution or to get the extremal of this okay so thank you for watching this learning video good day